Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Mote. I am the Global On Trade Excellence Programming Manager for Pochon Tequila. And today I am going to make one of my favorite drinks, which is called the Rosita. And this is using Patron Reposado. So I'll walk you through the recipe. It's very delicious and I hope you get a chance to make one at home. So we'll start with an ounce and a half because I like mine a little bit heavier on the tequila. And why not? It's such a delicious liquid to use. So an ounce and a half or 45 mils of Patron Reposado tequila. You can't have a Rosita or a Negroni style drink without the bitter liqueur. So we'll do an ounce or 30 mils of the bitter liqueur. And then we'll do equal parts of sweet vermouth and dry vermouth. And so that would be 15 mils or half an ounce of each. Now also what makes this drink unique is it does take bitters, which uh, is not common as part of a classic recipe for say a Negroni or a Boulevardier, but in, in the, the case of the Rosita, we definitely want to use bitters. Normally it calls for aromatic bitters, but in this case we're going to use Suyu's cherry bitters, so we'll do, well, you say two dashes, but for me I like mine a bit more on the bitter side, so I'll put in about two and a half, three dashes. We're going to get our ice, give it a stir. This is like the perfect moment for a bartender to have a conversation with a guest over the bar. Okay, so we'll give that a stir. Generally, we want to stir for long enough that it chills and dilutes the drink appropriately by about 25% volume. Give it a taste. Always good to have chilled glassware. So we'll get our martini glass, which is coming back in style now. So give that a strain. Doesn't that look lovely? Okay. And then we're gonna finish off with our lemon twist. And we just zest that over the top. Give it a little, little flare on the bottom. Give it a little twist. And then we're gonna stick that right in the glass. And there we have it. The Rosita cocktail made with Patron Reposado tequila.